welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Hey Nicole, I haven't seen your face since June, but you know what? I decided to film an intro today because I felt like it and I missed you guys and it's the holiday season, so why not? If you guys are new to my channel, hi and welcome. My name's Nicole and I'm just a gal that loves food and I love sharing my favorite recipes with you guys. So if you love food and you love watching recipe videos on YouTube, subscribe to my channel. In today's video, I am coming at you with another cookie recipe. You guys seem to be loving all of the cookie recipes I post on my channel. And plus, I have been in a huge, huge cookie making phase this holiday season, so I thought it would be perfect. So in today's video, we are going to be making my peppermint chocolate chunk cookies. They are so big, they're so ooey and gooey, and they're also so pepperminty, if that's even a word. But if you are a mint chocolate stan, this recipe's for you. Anyways, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more recipe videos from me. Also, comment down below if you're digging this new intro that I'm doing. I haven't done an intro in a really, really long time. I usually just get straight to the recipe, but let me know if you're liking them and I'll probably do more in the future. So without further ado, let's just get right into this recipe. These cookies are so decadent and pair so well with a glass of milk. Also, to this day on my channel, I think this is the best cookie break I've ever done. But I'm going to pause the video right here and be a little bit of a tease, so you have to watch the entire video to see me do the cookie break at the end. We're going to start off with our wet mixture today. In a large bowl, add in half a cup of granulated sugar, half a cup of brown sugar packed, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a cup of unsalted butter melted and cooled to room temperature, and one egg. If you're looking for an eggless substitute for this recipe, I'm going to link my eggless chocolate chip cookie video on the right hand corner of the screen so you can go ahead and click that. Once all the ingredients are incorporated, we can move on to our dry ingredients. In a separate bowl, we're going to combine 1 and a third cup of all-purpose flour with half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of baking soda. Give that a good mix and it's time to combine our wet mixture with our dry ingredients. In combining these two mixtures, I like to use more of a folding motion just so I make sure that I'm bringing flour from the bottom of the bowl upwards. You'll notice that while you're mixing, flour tends to pool or collect at the bottom of the bowl and we need to make sure that all the flour is 100% incorporated for that perfect cookie dough texture. Once the dry ingredients have been fully incorporated, it's time to add in our mix-ins. For this recipe, we're going to need a quarter cup of crushed candy canes, one cup of walnuts, this is optional, don't include if you have a nut allergy or don't like nuts in your cookies, and then 200 grams of chocolate. We're gonna put about three quarters of the chocolate into the batter and mix and we're gonna save the rest for later. Now that our cookie dough batter is complete, it's time to start rolling. Grab a separate plate or tray because this is where we're gonna put our rolled cookie dough balls. I'm rolling the cookie dough balls into about the size of a baseball. These are really large. You can definitely go smaller or larger, but in this video, I'm really going for that large and gooey chocolate chip cookie. Now, this next step is the key for the perfectly aesthetic chocolate chip cookie. We're gonna take the remainder of our chocolate chunks that we saved earlier and place them on top of our cookie dough ball. I personally feel very offended. I don't know if this is just me, but when I see a chocolate chip cookie without chocolate chunks or chocolate chips on top, I feel very deceived. Now we're gonna chill these cookie dough balls for at least 20 minutes in the fridge. Once they're done chilling, place your cookie dough balls on a standard baking tray about two inches apart from each other. It's a good thing that this recipe only makes about six large cookies and you can bake them all at one time. Now we're gonna pop these into the oven and bake them at 350 Fahrenheit for about 12 to 15 minutes. Out of the oven, your cookies may be a little bit soft, but as long as they're cooked on the outside and have developed a crust, they should be perfect. And now the moment you've been waiting for, the most intense cookie break I've ever had in any of my recipe videos. Look at that. It looks so gooey and chocolatey and so soft. I had to do it a second time. Oh, I cannot get over how perfect this looks. You already know just by looking at it how chewy these cookies are. This cookie is the perfect bake to make with your family during the holiday season. It's easy and they're so delicious. Anyways, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more recipe videos from me. Also, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my recipe videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. 
Let's get started. I haven't done an intro in so long. 